We're in Amsterdam, where pharmacy leaders have been hearing about how community pharmacists have been contributing to global disease prevention by offering vaccination services. One of the countries which is doing this is South Africa, and I'm with Marit Eckstein, Professional Development and Support Officer at the Pharmaceutical Society of South Africa. Hi, Marit. Hi. What's the situation in South Africa? Um, in South Africa, the pharmacists are privileged that we were never denied the opportunity to pr provide vaccinations in our pharmacies. However, this is something that uh, the pharmacists only start exploring in the early 1990s. Uh, in South Africa, we have roughly about 56 million citizens, of which 80, roughly 80% 80 rely on a mostly nurse-driven public health sector for the immunization needs, and the remaining 20% will come to a private community pharmacy if they need a vaccine for themselves or for a family member. It's not just about giving flu vaccinations, though, is it? No. Um, South Africa is really privileged that our National Department of Health has uh, approved an expanded program on immunization, which include a wide variety of childhood vaccines, such as polio, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, measles, pneumococcal, rotavirus, uh, as part of childhood vaccines, which is all scheduled on, on Schedule 2, which means that it can be dispensed and administered by a pharmacist without a doctor's prescription. South Africa has been declared polio free. How have community pharmacists contributed to public outreach campaigns? Um, we actually recently in September 2017, we had our annual pharmacy month. And uh, the theme that we had in 2017 was on vac vaccination. And our message to the citizens of South Africa was that with vaccines, you firstly protect yourself you protect your family, and ultimately you protect your community. So that was a campaign where, where pharmacists across South Africa participated in providing information, in doing outreach programs, doing catch-up campaigns in public centers, where providing the citizens of South Africa opportunity to get that needed immunization that, that they have, especially the, um, uh, the vulnerable populations, such as children under the age of five, pregnant women and the elderly. Finally, what have you learned from this week in Amsterdam and do you have a message for colleagues around the world? Um, what, I was, what I learned this week, and it was a lot of fun here in Amsterdam, is that um, we, South Africa, we should consider ourselves very lucky that we already have immunization rights and that it's not a process that we have to start from scratch. And I think I should encourage my colleagues in South Africa to more and more involve into, in this process and providing this service in the community pharmacy where they are the first level of entry in the healthcare system for citizens in South Africa. Thank you very much, Marit. This is Lin Wang uh, reporting for FIP at a special meeting on the role of pharmacists in immunization.